Well, hi. Um, this is the first installment of AppalachianTrials.com video um, articles slash blogs. So today um, we are going to cover one of my personal favorite topics, how to keep your parents from jumping off a cliff while you're doing your through hike. Um, so some of you may know who I am. You may have read some of my writings on the website or heard of my documentary, Hard Way Home. Regardless, um, I'm just another hiker who was trying to convince her parents that through hiking, the Appalachian Trail was the best decision um, ever. So here, you can witness a clip um, from my trailer and one of my first attempts to convince my mother of the impending hike. That's a cat. Enjoy. I'm not happy about your decision to hike this trail by yourself. I think if you were gonna hike it with other people, then that would not be as much of an issue. I'm pretty sure the visions that are dancing in my mom's head are grotesque battles. Me versus a rabid bear in the middle of a dense forest, far away from any civilization. Except maybe the crazy redneck with his cabin in the woods where he collects human carcasses. So, yeah, that is a clip from my trailer. And as you can see, my mom was a bit unhappy about me undergoing this challenge. Um, enter the box that I lived in. That's not working, is it? Screw the box. You know, simple things like convincing her that I had read all the best books. What? Sorry. Sorry. She really wasn't convinced at all. Um, you know, so here I have for you some of my tips um, on how I got her to kind of chill out a little bit when I decided to go on this six-month journey. So step one, um, be stubborn. Now, I know you're saying that that's probably not going to help. And in some ways, it didn't necessarily help my mom or help me. However, you know, I said, you raised me to be um, adventurous, intelligent most of the time, a people person, and to explore life. And this was going to help me to do that. I tried to say, you know, retirement the thing that you're trying really hard to save for um, and that you say you're never gonna get to, well, this is like my retirement backwards. You know, this way I'd be able to experience things that I'll probably be way too burnt out to experience down the road. Um, so that's step one, be stubborn. And it's probably not going to work. So with that, step two. Um, Safety facts, right? Actual crime statistics. On the trail, there's been about under 20 murders, um, give or take, in uh, like 70 years. I'm going to check that statistic. When you tell your parents those statistics, you better be sure about those statistics. Just saying. You know, I wish the ATC had specific stats on that. I'm sure they have reasons why they don't because negativity is awful. But, um, you know, if you just look at your city's statistics or wherever you live or if you're, like, in close proximity to a city, um, those are probably a lot worse than your chances of actually um, running into a crazy person on the Appalachian Trail. The amount of violent crimes in Boston the year that I hiked was uh, double the national statistic. Um, so, you know, those are, those are some pretty convincing numbers. Um, you can really kind of throw your parents with those kind of statistics. Cat, again. Um, so those kinds of statistics are super helpful when trying to convince your very worrisome parent um, what could really happen. You know, and, and as a former through hiker, um, you know, having done it, you can show them this fantastic video and let them know that, um, see this crazy chick? She did it. Um, and she wasn't murdered. Statistics. Because math and stuff. Step three open communication. This is a smartphone. Um, 
this is a nicer one since I hiked the trail, actually. Um, but uh, while I was on the trail, I made sure that I had one of these. And while I didn't have it on all the time, um, you know, because you're in nature and nature's cool and who needs this stuff. Um, but I did constantly or whenever, you know, I had service or the opportunity, I made sure I sent my mom a text, um, you know, or gave her a phone call. Um, and usually it was while she was at work, so I was often disturbing her. And I think my goal in that matter was to call her while she was too busy to want to talk to me so that she would be less worried and more annoyed. How'd that work out for you, mom? So, you know, communication. Communication is key, right, to every relationship whether you never see each other, like when you're on the trail, or you talk way too much to each other. Second. Okay. That brings me to step four in um, making sure your parents don't jump off a cliff. Um, my mom was super thrilled when I got this little spot GPS locator. Um, you know, and I have to say... Um, it made life easier for me, especially when I didn't have cell service. Um, I could turn it on and, and press the little button, and um, it had a, a pre-recorded email and text message that would go to my parents, and I pretty much um, set it up before I left and made sure I said something like, um, there is a bear eating me right now, so please call for help. No. Um, I basically said that I had made it to camp for the night. I love you. Talk to you later. Step number five. Hold that thought. For my fabulous sponsor, Wiggies. Um, but, you know, it's funny because I actually now keep this on my person all the time. It's like a weird through hiker safety net. Though I pretty much just killed lots of sticks with it and skewered hot dogs. You know, this will probably make your parents feel a lot better if you carry one of these. I mean, it's practical to an extent. It it kind of gives you this peace of mind. It gives your parents a peace of mind. Not that anything is really going to happen. Don't sue me if it does. Um, but, you know, this is one of those things that makes the parents feel better. My dad bought me a can of mace. It exploded in my pack. Go, dad. So that brings me to my final step. Um, the one that I really love, it's the theme of my film. I can't say it enough. Um, Frozen has really like nabbed this concept um, and everyone seems to really love it. So that would be let it go. Your parents, they're going to worry. That's what they're going to do. Really the main thing is keeping in contact. Um, if they hear from you, they know you're not dead unless you're a ghost and that's weird. But know that with these handy steps, two, three, four, five, um, you know, that, that you can at least calm them just a little bit. So anyway, Hope you guys enjoyed um, the first ever vlog here on Appalachian Trials. Um, be sure to check out my trailer at hardwayhomefilm.com. Bye. Happy trails. Don't leave your animals. They will not want you to go away ever again. Like this one. <laughs>